President Biden looks into the new year with uncertainty about whether he can turn around dismal poll numbers and low approval ratings ahead of the November election. The president faces lingering questions about age criticism from within own party for handling of foreign and domestic policy issues. While taking blow after blow from Republicans over the economy sun's business dealings. All of these issues add up to an approval rating that hasn't been above 40 percent for months. Polls also show Biden is trying to edge out his likely general election rival, former President Trump, who is polling ahead of Biden, including in some key states that will help determine who serves in the White House. The two have been neck and neck in other polls for months, making for what is expected to be a close race. Here are five things that could hurt Biden's victory in 2024 his age skeptics wondered whether would seek re-election given his age. But he announced in April that would seek another term. Whenever an incident occurs, such as his collapse on stage at the Air Force Academy's commencement ceremony earlier this year, political observers immediately jump on the question of whether Biden is fit to serve. Some of his speeches have also raised concerns, such as when he asked if lawmaker who in a car crash was in the audience at White House event. For the most part, Biden has addressed concerns about his age with at least some downplay. At a campaign reception in Massachusetts earlier this month, he joked that he was only 40 years old, adding, 40 times 2 in 1, the White House's economic messaging campaign which has spawned the moniker Bidenomics, has yet to reach the public. Despite progress in fighting inflation last year and the economy's avoidance of recession so far, Americans continue to report feeling no worse off economically under the Biden administration. The president argues that the economy is improving because the unemployment rate is low, currently at just 3.7 percent. In addition, Although consumer prices increased by 3.1 percent last year, persistent inflation eventually eased slightly. This is despite the Federal Reserve stating at its December meeting that interest rate cuts could come in 2024 after keeping interest rates at the same level. But the rate remains high, greatly affecting the housing market and doing little to stop prices of other goods and services from rising. The term bidionomy was coined to summarize Biden's economic agenda, which focuses on building the economy from the middle and bottom up. However, even Biden seems to have abandoned this term, which he has not used since November 1. During his speeches, his approval rating Biden is ending the year with a record low approval rating, with many polls showing him hovering below 40%. A poll from Monmouth University released Monday found that only 34 percent approve of his job performance in the White House, while 61 percent disapprove. The poll also found that 